Look, I am excited. After the, you know, hiring of Levy Smith, which I am coming around to, the players are definitely on board. Multiple Houston Texans, former Houston Texans players, Desmond King, Justin Reed, all these guys were all, in, you know, were putting encouraging comments and were saying, yes, I'm excited for Levy Smith. We know that these players love him. We know he's universally loved, that players will run through a brick wall for Levy Smith. I mean, the man's been to a Super Bowl. He's done his deed. You know, he's definitely led a path. So I'm excited for what he can bring, right? I still think he's a bridge coach. I think that you need to put a good staff around him if you want this Houston Texans and Lovey Smith to be successful. And they started with something good. And that was promoting Pep Hamilton to offensive coordinator. Something that us Houston Texans fans have been paying attention to, you know, to the situation is what's going to happen with them. We know he interviewed with other teams. You know, he declined Carolina. Almost, you know, he was one of the finalists against, uh, for the Giants. Um, the 49ers fans, you know, on YouTube were just crying for Pep Hamilton. Get him with Trey Lance. And, you know, it's kind of, it feels good to know that the Houston Texans brought in a coach that is so sought after. And, you know, look at the resume, right? In Howard, he was a quarterback coach from 97 to 2001. Then got promoted offense coordinator from 99 uh to 2001 as well he was with the Jets in 03 04 05 goes to San Fran as a quarterback coach in 06 goes to the Bears um, as a quarterback coach from 2007 to 2009 goes to Stanford wide receiver coach um, then gets promoted from 2011 to 2012 as the OC we know what happens there he meets with Andrew Luck Andrew Luck becomes number one uh, overall he goes to the Indianapolis coach from 2013 to 15, and then goes to Cleveland, then goes to Michigan, head coaches of the XFL, the, uh, D.C. Defenders, goes to Los Angeles Chargers, where we know what happened there with Justin Herbert, and then he is in Houston. The resume is long, and this is something that I wanted for the development of Davis Mills, because you bring in Pep Hamilton to see what you got in Davis Mills. <clears throat> The Stanford background is there. You know, Davis Mills' rookie season, if you look at it as a whole, you know, it's a whole story and it's very telling and I think it's very impressive. When he first came in the league, only 14 games out of high school, um, even the games in college, he didn't really light up the scoreboard. A raw product, you drafted him um, this year in the third round so you don't have to draft him, you know, in the first round in, in a couple um, months from now in the draft. So, what Pep Hamilton was able to do, Davis Mills sucked his first, you know, couple games. Has a great game against the uh, New England Patriots. Ends up getting benched for Tyrod Taylor. Then something happened. He had a bye week. Tyrod Taylor eventually gets benched. And then Davis Mills come back and looks like a completely different quarterback. Where, where we were legit saying Davis Mills outplayed Trevor Lawrence. He outplayed... Um, Justin Herbert, you have to give all credit to Pep Hamilton there. Justin Herbert also, uh, when he was a rookie, gave a lot of credit to Pep Hamilton, how Pep, how Pep Hamilton com uh, consistently had him prepared no matter uh, what he told him. I, I don't even know, Justin, if you're going to be able to play, but my job is to get you ready. And if you want to know what kind of system he's going to bring, this is from Drew from In-Depth Texans, you know, New Texans OC Pep Hamilton runs a no-co system, which emphasizes in running with power by creating mismatches, early down complete, uh, completions as an extension of the run game, being efficient on third down, taking shots downfield, was the most dynamic offense while in Indy. Look, anything other than Tim Kelly slash Bill O'Brien system, which we've seen for the past 10 years, I'm all here to get rid of. Let's see what a new offensive system can bring for the Houston Texans. Now it's up to Nick Casario, hidden free agency, hidden the draft, build around Davis Mills, and let me find out. Pep Hamilton is our future head coach. As always, guys, let me know what you think. Go Houston Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.